The armed forces of Ukraine stopped the advance of the Russian occupiers in the Pokrovsky direction. At the same time, the enemy is trying to find new loopholes. Military expert, pilot instructor and reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Roman Svitan, told about this in a commentary on Channel 24. In particular, he recalled that the 15th Brigade of the National Guard, Kara Dag, was transferred to the Pokrovsky area earlier and the fighters did a good job there. They stopped literally a dozen kilometers from Pokrovsk, the expert said. According to him, the Russians started advancing towards Kurakovo. At the same time, the enemy will try to press in the area of Ukrainian and Selidovoy, as this is the so-called Northern Pinsa, with the help of which the invaders seek to create a small encirclement in the area of Kurakovo. According to Svitan, this Russian claw can be cut off by simply destroying it with the help of artillery. In addition, artillery can work quite well there from the side of Vugledar and Kurakovoy. In general, there are enough mechanisms for this. The main thing is that there are forces and means. At the same time, the main task now is to knock out enough weapons and equipment, especially ammunition from our partners, specifically for this direction. But the direction to Crimea is the most promising, and in this context, the Kursk operation is very interesting. Sirsky is changing the architecture of the front. The expert emphasized, in his opinion, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine is deploying the front from the Azov and Black Seas towards Moscow into the Russian heart of decision-making. Earlier, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, reported that the armed forces managed to stop the advance of Russian troops in the Pokrovsky direction. According to him, over the past six days, the enemy has not advanced even a meter in the Pokrovsky direction. Pokrovsk is a very strategic city which is a logistical hub, an industrial powerhouse, and is considered the gateway between eastern and central Ukraine. If the city falls, Ukraine not just loses supply lines in the entire region, but Russian forces acquire a launch pad for mounting assaults deeper in Ukraine and controlling other strategic cities. Russian channels began to sound the alarm about the Kursk region. The resource VDV for Honesty and Justice, associated with the Russian armed forces, wrote about the advancement of the Ukrainian armed forces and the encirclement of Russian forces. Bad news is coming from the Kursk front. The enemy continues to expand its zone of control in the Kursk region. Some of our units have been surrounded, wrote Z Channel. Already in the morning, he clarified that Russian troops had to retreat a little on this section of the front. It is currently unknown where exactly the Ukrainian armed forces have advanced in the Kursk region. According to the latest data, the defense forces control about 1.3 thousand square kilometers of Russian territory. The Russian armed forces are having big problems in the Glushkovsky district on the northern flank. There, an area of approximately 700 square kilometers has been operationally encircled after the Ukrainians destroyed the bridges across the Seam River. Despite this, the military command of the Russian armed forces is not giving the order to withdraw forces from the fire pocket. After three weeks of fighting, Russia is still struggling to dislodge Ukrainian forces from the Kursk region, a surprisingly slow and low-key response to the first occupation of its territory since World War II. It all comes down to Russian manpower and Russian priorities. With the bulk of its military pressing offensives inside Ukraine, the Kremlin appears to lack enough reserves for now to drive out Kyiv's forces. President Vladimir Putin doesn't seem to view the attack, or at least give the impression that he views it as a grave enough threat to warrant pulling troops from eastern Ukraine's Donbas region, his priority target. Putin's focus is on the collapse of the Ukrainian state which he believes will automatically render any territorial control irrelevant, wrote Tatiana Stanovaya, senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center. Russia is very keen on continuing the attacks toward Pokrovsk and not taking resources away from Pokrovsk to Kursk, said Nico Lang, senior fellow at the Washington-based Center for European Policy Analysis. Unlike Pokrovsk, where Ukrainian forces have built extensive fortifications, other parts of Donetsk still under Ukrainian control are less protected and could be significantly more vulnerable to the Russian onslaught if Pokrovsk falls.